What's up, everyone? Um, so I am trying something new today. I don't actually know anything about Adobe After Effects, but <laughs> I started screwing with it yesterday and I made this cool thing. So check this out. Like if I go between my uh, Be Right Back screen, okay, and then I transition in, watch the bottom, it's going to do this cool animation. So it like flips in and it does all this. So I, I built this in like probably took me longer than it should have yesterday. Um, but so I wanted to play a little bit more with this idea and see what else I can build. Um, it's mostly just something that I'm having fun with and I thought it would be a good time to, you know, fire up the old Twitch and screw around while I'm trying to learn something new. Um, so I'm in uh, After Effects. I'm going to open the original project and we're going to see if I can remember how this works. So um, the thing that's kind of cool about this is like it's built in such a way that uh, it it's sort of like Photoshop or um, it's like close enough to be uncanny and I keep hitting the wrong keys. So I have a lot of experience from way back in the day as a Photoshop user. I was a, a designer before I was a developer. You know, I've got a lot of, a lot of experience digging around in that prop, that platform. Um, and then, you know, with help from flow, uh, Florian Kissling on the Gatsby team, um, you know, I did this little like trace of my face and then flow worked with me to, to kind of, we, we collaborated on this cool, like nineties kind of shape design thing. Um, and then I took that and turned it into these overlays and stuff that, that we've got. Um, so this has been like kind of a fun ongoing hobby for me is to, to keep trying to figure out how to make after, or just how to make this stream kind of feel professional. Right. Um, and so where this all started is I've got these, these various things that I've got, right? So I've got this placeholder video. Um, I've got the cards that I use for when people come on, you know, I pull their photo in and, and talk all that. And then I build these other things that I never use, like these uh, these starting soon cards that I always forget to update and replace. Um, but so what I was trying to do is figure out like what's a good way to show this lower third because something that I don't like about it, if you, if you look at the screen, um, when I transition out, so I'll go to the, the BRB screen. And then when I transition back in, there's like this weird kind of gap underneath the video, right? So it's kind of, I don't know, I don't love it. So I want to make that less silly. And I don't know that I can do that with the current design because the current design has um, this like cutout here, right? So this is kind of, it's just not really what I want, you know, looking at, at After Effects here. Um, it, it does this kind of forced pop up into the thing. I don't love that. So I'm going to try something new. And I think the thing that I'm going to try is going to be something like this. So I was, I was playing with this before I started streaming. Um, and I was just trying to cut it off and figure out like, what's a good set up for this. Now this obviously is not a great idea because it's going to be like on top of the person who's streaming. Um, I, don't know, I mean, maybe that's okay. I don't know. Uh, what, I don't know. What do you think? What do you like? Maybe I can try this. seems like it could be a little messy. Um, so kind of the, the challenge that I have whenever I do this stuff is like, it's hard to see how this all works until you actually just like plug it in. Um, so I think what I'm going to try to do is grab like, here's a, a video. Hmm. How do I want to do this? So like, let's take a look at some other people's streams who do this stuff. I think it's, uh, uh, what are they called? Frame? Oh, what's it called? I was just looking at this. Um, uh, David K piano stream. Where is it? He does a thing. Keyframers. That's what I was looking for. Um, so keyframers, they have like these, these cool setups. Um, let's go away from here. Let's get in this. And like, if you look at their videos, I mean, aside from just that 
general coolness. Um, I feel like they've got like a whole setup. Make sure that's muted. Let's get in here somewhere. So yeah, like there's this like this kind of background thing, and then you can see there they've got the green screen thing going. I don't know that I want to get into green screen. That seems like it opens up way too many challenges. Um, I don't really. I like I don't have a green screen and I expect that most of the people that I stream with aren't going to have a green screen. So that seems like it's probably not a kind of a non-starter. But what I could do is put in um, kind of a, a frame for the video. Uh, so if I've got, you know, my my screenshot here of like, here's my wait, what am I doing? Is this the video? So here's my video. And so if I wanted to do something like more framey, uh, I could grab, well, let's just grab a color. So I'm going to just do the whole thing. And then I'm going to do another one on top of it. And this one will set up to be like, let's call it 40 pixels. Um, so I'm just holding down option on Figma so I can see how far away things are. And then I'm going to pull this all the way to the bottom because I want it to be lined up with that lower third. We don't need to eat any extra space there. And then I'm going to pull this over to like there ish seems good. Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to take these and I'm going to do a subtract. Uh, nope. Other way. Just to go. I want it to knock the center out. Oh, come on. Do the thing that I want. Subtract. No, nope, that wasn't it. Let's see. There's a way to arrange these. It's just going to do it. There it is. All right. So now I've got this kind of like frame, right? So I can make this frame whatever color. Uh, I'm going to use one of the swatches. So uh, again, Florian Kissling did this. Um, he did this really cool. <laughs> Chris, I don't want any more Amazon links. Um, no, I'm not doing any more. There, no, there will be no more gadgets. I'm done with gadgets. Um so I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take Florian Kissling has the, he put together like a, a color palette for us. And I've just been pulling from these to put things together. So if I do like, yeah, that looks bad. What about something else? Let's try like a dark magenta. That looks worse. What about, um, maybe I can just do like a, like a gray. That might be the move. So if I take this gray and then I can take the screenshot and kind of put it in here. Um, so I'll have to organize this so that it looks more like what I want it to look like in, um, in OBS. But you know, if I can frame it like that, then that means that I have the space up here to do the, um, the videos like the people's videos. And so if I move the overlay, so we want this thing is going to come all the way back. Okay. So that's kind of looking cool that that could work. And then if I take the, um, the screenshots and I move those up into the front. Hmm. So this needs to move. Oh, let's see. I guess this comes in front. All right. Now I got to start masking these out. So I'm going to duplicate this. Um, that's evil cat. Nicely done. Um, all right. I'm gonna copy and paste. Yeah, perfect. All right. So then I can grab a thing here and this one is going to be a mask. Well, that didn't do what I wanted at all. That was horrible. What you just did. Let's do here. Also incorrect. Um, I think it needs to be on top. So here's my screenshot. Put that up on top. Grab this. Hit the mask button. And now it is a... Nope. There we go. So now it's kind of a thing. And then I can do the same thing over here. Grab Sid's face. And we will grab the other shot. Put that up on top. Hit the mask button. And now I've got my two, whoa, buddy. Now I've got my two, call it Sid face and Jason face. 
and then I can take these and like, I'm going to make these masks the same dimensions. So we'll call them like two, I think 260 is about good. So let's go 260. See how that, oh, come on. See how this goes. That's a little too big. So let's go back to 250. 240. I can live with a little bit of overlap because I think that'll look actually kind of cool if it's uh, if it's overlapping well. And then this maybe is like 220. Okay, so let's try this. So I can put this up here, like kind of overlapping a little bit. Then we take this one, and that was 250 by 220. Okay. And then I'm going to move this over a little bit so it's centered. And then I've got my other thing. And let's rearrange these because I'm usually on the bottom. Uh, then we've got... So we've got our teacher up top. We've got me on the bottom. Did I do my sizes wrong? 250, 240. Okay. Let's make that just a little bit smaller. 240. All right. So then I've got a little bit of a, like a frame now. So there is the video another video, maybe add a little bit of space. How does this look? Is this looking good or stupid? Um, let's see. I kind of dig that and I kind of think it looks bad. Um, it sort of seems like a waste of space to have this extra real estate here. So I'm wondering if maybe I should drop that off entirely. Uh, I mean, I kind of like the idea of a frame, but it also just doesn't necessarily seem like a great use of, of screen real estate. Um, so if I decide I don't want to do that, then what I can do instead, if I like pull... So here's like the main thing that I'm getting after is I have this mismatch between like what looks reasonable as a, an aspect ratio here and this. And so how I dealt with it last time is I just crammed extra shape in the background and like that works. It, it fills the space, but again, it gives us this problem where if I, you know, I'm going to flip over to my be right back screen. And so when I flip back, if you look at the lower third, it like creates this kind of weird gap, right? And then that has to get filled in. And so I guess I could just not move that shape and it would just kind of animate in the logo. Maybe that's the move. I don't know. Let's play with this. Let's, so let's go in here. I've got, now what I've got, this is the animation that I've been working on. So if I, if I hit play, we can see everything animate in. Um, and that's cool. It, it, does, it does what I want it to do but I'm wondering if that's maybe not the right thing for it to do. So I'm going to, I think I'm happy with the logo movement, but maybe we don't want the white shape to move. So I can just turn off this keyframe and then what happens? I'll just hit play. And so then that would just stay in place and the, the polka dots come across. I feel I, you know what, maybe I should just not overthink this and just be okay with that. So yeah, I think, I think that's okay. Um, so what's kind of cool about this, I, I actually want to play with a different thing. Um, cause I wanted to make a like full screen, like be right back thing. I got jealous when Chris had this cool, um, this cool setup with like a animated screen or something. Animate opacity. Well, yeah. So, okay. So here's, here's my issue. If you look right at the, um, at the logo in the bottom left, uh, when I switch over, there's that like black box underneath it as it animates in. Right. And so the challenge is I don't want to have that black box, but I also don't necessarily want to like 
make the, it, so if I make the background white so that it's not so noticeable, then the challenge is that like, it's not moving really at all anyways, so why bother? Um, and so if I don't animate this, then it's kind of the same thing and it's gonna look a little less goobery, I guess. Um, I might need to just like let this one sit for a while and think about it. Um, white to black, left to right. I could, uh, yeah, I could try that. Um, white, so white to black, left to right. So white to black. Hmm. What would that look like? How would I even do that? I don't know if I know how to do that. So if I had, you're saying like back here and I've got this, this kind of setup where I would have, let's take a rectangle and I drop this in here and then move it back. And I could do a gradient, which is gonna be one of these. Linear, we'll go white to black and the opacity will take up to 100 and then we'll set the direction to be here Then I can just kind of pull that around. I mean, we could animate that. That might work. Hmm. Fading to white could, could definitely do it. What if I just, okay, so let's, let's play. I'm going to take this white shape. I'm going to take the transform. I'm going to come out here. So this is where we stop. Here's where it. So let's go there. I'm going to create a keyframe by just hitting this button. And then if I take back here, take that down to zero, then we can preview and it fades in. Okay. Let's swing that a little bit. So I'll go to the graph view and then, oh man, this is hard on a small screen. Let's make this bigger. Um, where is it? here, then I can click on these and I can do this like ease thing. So that kind of swings it and then that'll make it a little smoother. Okay. All right. I don't hate that. Um, I wonder if I can change this like as I'm going, let's try. I'm going <laughs> to, this is going to be wild. So I'm going to export, add to render queue. And then in the render queue, I got to do this thing. I'm going to set the render settings to, oh shit. Uh, we want, I did this through another thing last time and I don't know how to use it. Proxies, no proxies. I want like, Hmm. Okay. Output. I want the quick time. Yeah. Is that right? RGB. Oh no, no, wait, wait, wait. Here's what I want. I want the qui lossless with alpha, I think. And I'm going to just try to drop this straight into my folder. So let's go into here. I've got my Gatsby stuff, video, ink streaming. <laughs> I've been timed out for this. Um, yeah, my, my custom emote got approved and I'm super excited about that. Um, okay. I'm going to do a thing here, I think. If I just do that, is that gonna, okay. So this is gonna replace this, which means one of two things is gonna happen. Either my OBS setup is going to explode 
or this will seamlessly update and we'll be able to see the new animation in place. So let's try it. Did you explode? Did it work? Wait, are you just done or wait, did I do it? How do I hit play? Render. Ah, uh, it won't let me delete the existing file. All right, let's try something instead. I'm gonna go into, what are you, what, you're not gonna let me change it now? Oh, that's no fun. Okay, um, I mean, I, <laughs> I probably shouldn't tempt fate on this, so I'm just not gonna do it. Um, I'm so happy. Yeah, so now I have a, a custom emote and it's, uh, Chris made this too, it's amazing. So we were joking around on a, a previous stream that I needed a, um, <laughs> it was a, I, I needed a, uh, uh, like a happy Jason bear. And so Chris took a screenshot, made the, the background transparent and added bear ears. And that's how we got to now. Um, <laughs> so, so this is my life. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so I, I'm not going to deal with rendering this. What I actually wanted to do is I wanted to do like a full screen thing that will, that will fade out. So I'm going to save this and I'm going to close it. And then I'm going to open it. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Well, now things are going to get weird because now I don't know how things work anymore. Um, window, show me my composition. Aha, okay. So I'm going to close this one. Okay, then I'm going to do a new composition. And it pulls up the thing over here. So I want to go 1280 by 720. Um, and I'm going to call this like full screen be right back and so i want this one that's all fine i don't know what any of this stuff means so i'm just doing it so this is my my full screen be right back and what i want to do is pull in my let's go over here so i'm going to pull in uh, some assets i've got in my video stuff some logos and, and things. So like here's just the logo file. So I'm gonna try just pulling this over and then I think I can just put this in the middle. Yeah, okay, cool. So now that I've got this in the middle and like this is enormous, that's, that's clearly not the size we want it to be. Um, I wanna make this smaller Okay, that seems about right. And so then what I can do is I wanna take, oh, it did all this stuff. Interesting, okay. Um, preferable preset for web stuff is H.264. Oh, interesting, okay, so let me change that preset. I wanna use composition settings, it's in here somewhere composition settings and I want H.264 where are you at uh, all right Horacio what do I need HD DVC I don't know I don't know what any of these mean um, kind of don't know what to do about this. I, I also kind of feel like, I think I choose the output format when I render HDTV 2997. Isn't that what I'm at? Right. That's where I'm at. Uh, I think I'm just, I, I think I choose on the way out what the size is gonna be. So I, I think maybe I'll just roll. I think I'll just roll. And uh, if it becomes an issue, then I'll, I'll deal with it. Um, later, Chris, thanks for, thanks for stopping by. Um, all right, so what I wanna do next is I wanna do like a rectangle. So I click this button and then I just toss that in here. 
and I'm gonna align it to the side and the top, and then I want it to be what size? Boy, this is tricky on a small screen. I normally have a lot more screen real estate when I'm doing stuff like this, and so this is exciting. Let's see, I don't wanna stroke at all, so I'm gonna delete the stroke. Um, for the fill, I want the color to be white. Okay. And then I want to move this back. So I'm going to hit uh, command in the left, the opening square bracket, and that'll move it back. Okay. And so in here, I can do all sorts of stuff. Um, specifically, what I want to do here is I'm going to not quite center it. And then I want to do some like fun loading animations. Oh, what up, Aisha? Thanks for stopping by. Um, so I think what I want to do is I want to play with like, I've got this, this holding screen that I use now. Let's get you to go away. I'll leave that out for now. Um, and up here, it's, it, so it's just kind of this like fun thing where everything is, um, I don't know, just like colorful and whatever. Um, but so what I want to be able to do is like sort of animate this. And I think it would be kind of fun to like do a wipe with it. Um, and let's see. So I, yeah, I've got, how do I want to do this? So like, I can just export this directly, right? So I've got this, um, these fills and dots and kind of the vector mask for it. So if I just go over into Figma, I can add an export. It's default to PNG, so let's call this like pink polka dots. I'm gonna export that one. And then over here, that's, let's see, so that's that. Let me group these and then we'll do like blue and white dots. Um, then what's like the, the lot of, th oh, cause I'm like bouncing between After Effects and Figma. Uh, okay, so let's see what happens here. Export blue and white dots. Okay, so what I'm going to attempt to do is I'm going to move these blue and white dots. So I've got a PNG now, and then I'm going to move my pink polka dots. Got another PNG, and I can go into After Effects, assuming it doesn't crash on me. Oops. And let's just drag those in. So my polka dots and my blue and white, throw those in. And then I'm going to take these blue and white ones, toss them up at the top. Wait, why did you do both? You're being very helpful and I don't know that I like it. Here's my blue and white. I want that one to be up at the top. And I can just, I think, just align it. So alignment. And then this one I want to be at the bottom. Cool. Okay, how big is that comparatively? It's roughly the same. Maybe this is a little bit bigger. Um, let's take this down a bit. Take this down a bit. So I'm just hitting command uh, opening square bracket to move things around. Um, let's name this one to background. I have to name things or else I, I just forget what I'm doing. Okay, so I've got my logo um, and now I wanna animate some stuff. And so I think what I'm gonna do is I think I wanna do like a multi rectangle wipe. And I think the way that I'm gonna do that is, um, Oh, nice. Thanks for looking into that, Horacio. Um, yeah, so I think when I when I do the render, I think I just choose the, the codec. And I will probably, uh, once we get to that phase, have a lot of questions. So I think, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this, and it is currently what size? Uh, I've got my fill. The path is what I'm interested in. So the current size is it's uh, the wrong size. It should be 720 by 1280. I need to turn off the linking. So 720 by 1280. Uh, the position is 00. That's what we want. 
and that is good. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, let's see, I'll use Alfred because I'm learning. 720 divided by 3 is 240 because I can't do math in my head. And I'm going to do 240. Okay. Then make that one the top, move it up. And then I need another one, so I'm going to duplicate. Hmm, how do I do that? Can I just copy paste? Copy paste. Oh, snap. All right, then I've got middle. And then copy paste again, and I'll have bottom. Okay, and then I'm going to move that one down. Move the middle. Okay, and so my bottom one, I want to align to the bottom. My middle one, I want to align to the middle. And my top one, I want to align to the top. Okay, and then I want to align all of these to the center. Did that do it? Now what is this? What's going on? It's like the wrong size. Wait, 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 does that actually work? You can divide in, ooh, I'm gonna try this. Okay, so apparently I can do math right in After Effects. So if I just do 720 divided by three, oh, snap, that is awesome. Um, thank you for that tip. You enjoy my stream, good, good handle. Um, all right, so I've got, but why the hell is this, uh, What's this about? What's what's this? You are the right width. Did I mess with the scale or something? No, the scale's all right. What are you doing? What are you doing to me? You're you're misaligned. I don't like that at all. Um. Okay, so this is gonna be. I don't know, maybe I'll just like f brute force this because I don't, I don't know that I need to have like perfect. Well, that's not doing what I want. Oh no, I'm breaking everything. What did I select over here? The wrong thing okay so let's unselect this one we're gonna select these ones instead I want these to move right and then if I zoom out zoom in over here What are you all about? This one? I don't know. I feel like that's that's not perfect, but maybe I don't care. Maybe I maybe I will learn. Um, what is what? Oh wait, what is after codec? After codex? Is this something? Is this a rabbit hole? Am I gonna find myself in a? Uh, let's let's look. This is probably gonna, this is gonna lead to regret, isn't it? Um, what do, so what's the, what do these do? It's a script and it does, like what does it do? What's it called? I'm looking at after codex. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, cool. That's very cool. Um, nice. Okay. I'm going to, I'm probably not going to do that right now, but that's, uh, that's helpful. So, all right. So what I want to do is I actually want to animate this thing now. So I'm going to do that by taking, let's see, we'll take the first one. Let me lock these first. So I stop clicking on them. I'm going to take this first one. 
and I'm going to come out to, let's say, how many seconds is this? Let's say I want this to take about three, two seconds. That seems right. So I'm going to come out here. I'm going to hit the transform. I'm going to set a position. Then I'm going to come back to the beginning. I'm just going to drag this thing off to the left. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to come out to two seconds. I'm going to set the position here. And then I should probably do the same one up here. So they're like the same position. Okay. Now, then I can come all the way back here, right? And I'm going to take this one, move it off to the right. Okay. Then take the top and move this one all the way out here. Okay. So then now it's like a wipe which is kind of cool, right? Um, Videocopilot.net tutorials. Let's look this up. Whoa, that's wild. This is, this is gonna be such a deep rabbit hole for me. Are these all just like, you just get to watch these? It doesn't cost money? Holy crap. Uh, well, that's super useful. That is definitely something that I will be going back to. Um, yeah, that's that's handy. I'll be looking at that. Okay, so I've got my, my thingy. It's doing the thing I want, but I wanna make this a little less janky. So I'm gonna take this, and I'm just taking the easy way out doing the auto ease thing. Um, I'll do the same thing on all of these. Oh, it just did it. What's that? What is that? I don't know what that is. I'm going to click this button instead. Okay. And then I can collapse this one, come in here, do the same thing. Get this one and this one. Ease it. Okay. And then it's kind of a nice, that works, right? That seems okay. And then I can do the same. I can do some stuff with these, um, with these other layers. So let's take these polka dots and unlock them. And then I want these, I want these to come in like a little bit later. So I'm going to start back here. I'm going to get the, position and then I'm going to come in to like let's say here ish and I want to drag this down like this yeah and then I'm going to do that thing again and let's let's watch what happens Oh, wait, I need to make this thing a lot shorter. So there's this thing that uh, that you can do here. How do I make it happen? I'll close this, back out. I don't need 30 seconds, so I'm going to make this much shorter. Let's take it down to like five seconds. And then I'm going to take this down to like, I don't know, that just does it on its own. Okay, so now this should be like a five-second loop. Maybe. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, have I used Lottie? N Lottie is it? Wait, is Lottie the the Airbnb thing? Or am I getting myself confused? It's time for. More coffee. Wait, show me. Where's, there's the camera. Yeah. 
I know it's afternoon, but I couldn't, it's, it's one of those days. Um, I haven't used Lottie. No, I saw the, I saw the demo and I thought it was super cool. And then I did not, um, do anything with it. Okay. So let's do the blue and white. We'll do kind of the same thing. Um, I'm going to take, make that one a little bit slower. And this one we want to. Oh, I don't know how that one should come in because it's going to be kind of goofy with the. Maybe it just comes in. No, that's not right. Mm, the, yeah, yeah, this this will be fine. Okay, so I'm going to set here. I want this to move up like this kind of. And then I'm also, I want to set like a rotation on it. So I'm going to bring this back and I'm going to get it to like swing into place is what I want. So to do that, but I wish I could make the, how do I change the, like the center point? Like, can I align it to the corner instead? Oh, that feels janky. Um, Nah, that's like almost what I want, but I want to figure out how to, let's see, where do I set the grid and guide options? But what if I just want to change, what does that button do? Hide layer and terminal, quality and sampling. If anybody knows this, feel free to save me for myself here. Uh, what I'm trying to do is set like, so like if I'm in Figma, I can go up here and I can say like, all right, let's take a look at this thing. And I want to set the constraints or like where I'm, where I'm rotating from. Um, it's like if I take like a, a rectangle and then I'm out here, then I can like, maybe I can't do this in here. So, so right now it's rotating around the center. What I'm trying to do is set like a transform origin on this so that I can rotate it around the corner. Um, here we come, Google. Let's see, uh, change. Anchor point. I have an aim. You mean, yeah, so that was what I was looking at, and I thought I couldn't change it. That was what I was struggling with. So, like, I'm looking at this thing, right? But I can't move that, can I? No, that's, that's not the right thing. That's not what I want, is it? Hmm, maybe? I have the anchor point. Oh. Okay, but what's, like... All right, so let, okay, let's just start over. I'm gonna get rid of these. Okay, let's roll back in time. Oh shit, I just broke everything. Okay, you're going to zero, and you're coming back to here. We're gonna align top and right. Okay, so now that I have this anchor point, what does that mean? Like, let's see, if I set it to like, Zero, zero. Ooh, okay, that's better. That's actually what I was after. So this is good. That means that if I set, but I don't want that. I want this to be like, my anchor point should be, how big is this thing? 331? Yeah, so now I can actually swing it in. Okay, so align, align. And now I'm going to come back out to my like two second mark 
and we're gonna set the rotation and then come back to here maybe like here and we'll do a rotation of 90 nope that's too many um, I want a rotation of negative 100 let's try that how's that look okay no that's not what I want I want the transform point to be different so let's Oh, I did it again. Okay. So I want the transform point to be like, let's dig in here. I want it to be right on this, this rectangle or the, the tip of this uh, shape. So do that. And then we'll realign. And then I can come back out here. We're going to make a position and a rotation and then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to change this position to probably be like back here somewhere and I'm going to change the rotation to be negative 100 and now I think it'll swing in right okay that's better so I want to make that less uh, Jenkins. So let me come in here. Add this easing. All right, try that again. How's this? How's this thing looking? And that's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, I mean, so this is, and this is kind of what I was, what I was after. Um, yeah, I think this is it. So, so, I mean, this is, I, I believe anybody who knows After Effects is probably just like, oh man, this is like baby town frolics. But at the same time, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Um, maybe, should I, should I do something really stupid? Like, take the logo and like, rotate it a thousand percent and have it spin in um yes yes i think we shall let's uh let's put it up here i'm gonna set an anchor point right and then i'm gonna come back here here and i'm gonna scale this down to like zero percent yeah okay so now we're making bad decisions so I'm going <laughs> to probably think I'm going to undo this. Uh, so go here and then I'm going to set a rotation and then I'm going to come back to here and I'm going to set the rotation to like, what's a, let's see, 360 times, let's do nine and a half rotations. This is going to be so bad. It's going to be so bad. Okay. Um, Let's see what happens. <laughs> it's like the Batman logo. Oh, that makes me happy. That's stupid. Um, I kind of want to keep it. Maybe 9x is too many. <laughs> this is this is silly, but it's kind of fun. Okay. Yep. Uh, I like that way more than I thought I would. It makes me smile. It's a bad idea. I'm going with it. Let's check. How does this work? Can I make this? I want to make this way smoother on the way out, though. Like, let's really, let's really ease it out here. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Then I'm going to turn this off. And I'm actually going to line this up a little bit better because I feel like it's kind of, it's kind of goofy with that both parts. Yes. Okay. Then come in here. Let's ease this as well. I'm going to have this come in slower. <laughs> this is the worst idea that I've ever had, but I'm so happy about it. Um, okay, so I do want this. I want this to finish first. 
No, I don't. Maybe I want it to finish last. Do I want her to finish it like exactly the same time? Maybe, maybe what I want is for it to like overcorrect a little bit. So if I like do this, then what happens? Well, I didn't do anything. Oh, this is, I'm on the scale is why. So that's kind of fun. The scale is kind of fun. Let's do the same thing on the rotation. I want the rotation, I want it to over rotate just a bit. Whoa, that is way too many. Just a bit, just a touch. <laughs> this, oh, this is such a silly idea. Okay. Um, that's, oh no, what happened? Where we go? Okay, here we go. Less. I just want like just a, just the babyest bit. Yeah, that's kind of fun. <laughs> okay. Um, and this is where I don't know enough about this because what I'd really like to do is make that even more goofy um, and have it like, kind of wobble a little bit, but I don't know how to do that. So I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna take my, my small victories and maybe just let it go. Okay, but that scale needs to end at a different time. That's not enough. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. So I like that. I'm going to keep that. Might change that later. Felt cute. Might delete later. Um, and then this, I think I want this to happen faster. So I'm going to pull this and this back. Oh, I need more keyframes. That makes sense. More keyframes to do more things. Um, it's always the, the things that, th that seem like they should be hard that end up being very easy, very obvious. Okay. I think, I mean, I'm feeling pretty happy with this. So I'm going to, I'm going to save it. Um, and what is happening? Things are, Go away, whatever you're doing. I don't want it. Somebody's calling me and I want it to stop. Cool. Don't know what that was. Um, all right. So I have a, like, I'm going to take this. I feel like this is pretty, this is pretty good. This is passable. So I'm going to, now I'm going to see if I can render it. So I'm going to add to render queue. So export, add to render queue. Then I'm going to go to where current render. I want this one to be okay. So what did you say you wanted me to do? So this is quick time. Now I need the transparency and that's one of the reasons that I've been doing this. So I want RGB plus alpha depth, whatever. And like, this isn't getting shipped. This is being, this is running on my local machine. So I kind of don't care about like how big the file is. Cause it's just going to sit, I guess it could overload my, my OBS. Um, I don't want any audio and that should be good enough, I guess. So let's do that. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to just let this rip. So let's do a render. And then I think it's doing the thing. Oh, it made happy sounds. Um, 
Okay, so then that's not going to do anything now. Uh, we're going to go Inception for a minute. So I'm going to bring over OBS. Can I make this small enough that it actually shows up in its own screen? This is going to be wild. Okay, so now you can see the OBS controls. And so, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> so what I want to do is I want to have... I, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a new media source. Okay, and this is going to be like overlay wipe. I think that's what it's called as a wipe. And I'm going to browse. This is where things get dicey because OBS does not do well. Uh-oh. Keep up, little buddy. You got it? Okay. Then go into oh come on you can do it you can do it you can do it video ink streaming overlays this one that one okay come on come on come on come on you're there you're so close okay i'm not yes restart I'm not going to have it show nothing and I don't want it to loop. So I want it to play, play once and then sit is what I'm really after. Um, Twitch sings. What? That's a cool. <sighs> Wait, Aisha, are you doing karaoke? Oh, y'all should just go follow her. She's really good at karaoke. Okay. Let me save that. Look at that. That is dope. Okay. So this is super cool. Look at this. Oh my God. All right. Look at this. This is amazing. So now here's what's cool about this. So I can do this. So I've got it just like sitting. It's, it's off. Nothing's happening. And then I hit the overlay wipe and it's going to like, everything flies in. I do that thing. And then I can switch over to my be right back screen. So I'm going to have to fix this so that like all the, the sides are the same. Um, we, wait, we need to do karaoke together at some point on Twitch? Uh, oh my God. Okay, so <laughs> um, I was in, uh, where was I? I was in Romania and Aisha showed up and somebody was like, hey, we should go do karaoke. And so I agreed. And then I showed up and Aisha was there and she let me sing first. And then she was way, 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 way better than me. And I felt, uh, I felt like a fool. But it was really fun. And I actually would probably totally do Twitch karaoke. That sounds like exactly the kind of ridiculous thing that I'm after. Um, but this is, so this is fun. Like this is, like I'm into this. Uh, the one challenge with this is that I don't know how to... Cause if I like switch over here, I don't know how to get over here to turn off the wipe to get back. Hmm. There's gotta be a way to do this, but I don't know what it is. Um, what would it be? I can probably, I can probably script it or something. I got this stream deck thing, but I don't know what it does yet. So I'll have to learn. Um, but wow, okay, I'm taking that as a win. This is like, this is cool. I made an animated thing. I can, I can like get in and out of my stream now. Um, I wish I could make it play backward when I was done so I could like play this and then have it like wipe out. That would be super cool. Um, well, Horacio, the, the problem isn't that I, that I need more still seconds. It's that like, it's, so it does this. Oh, are you saying to like have it disappear at the end? So like have it sit like this and then it would disappear and then I, I'm like moved over to the next thing. But then when I switch back over, it would play again. So like it's on now. So unless it were to go invisible, I would do this and then I switch back and it plays, right? And that's not good because I actually want that animation here, this, um, this like lower third thing to play. Um, I also want to figure out if I can get, so like this text is live. It pulls out of a text file so that I don't have to create new, um, animations for like every stream. Cause I already have far more things than I have time to do for every stream. Um, but I would love it if I could like 
animate these. I saw all these really cool lower third animations when I was trying to figure out how to do this. And I was like, oh, that'd be so cool. And then I couldn't figure out a way to have, like, it, I mean, obviously you can't have a video read from dynamic text, I don't think. So I'm either gonna have to figure out how to script in OBS, which seems like a lot, um, or I have to figure out something else. But either way, I really, yeah, like, I was not joking. Like it, it is going to another level. It, this and this is like eight levels deep. At first, I was like, "Hey, it would be cool if I had a stream." And now I've got like dashboards and buttons and all sorts of sort of uh, just so many wild things. Um, but yeah, so what I need is a way to like trigger this and then have it like hide itself. So maybe. Maybe that's a thing. Show nothing when playback ends. And that's fine. But then you would just start again. So how? Maybe I can do like transitions or a cut or a fade. Can I add more transitions? Do I have a custom swipe? Nah. Meh. I don't know about that. I also don't know what the difference is between those two. Okay, so that's not what I want. Um, definitely, what? No, go away. Can I just add like a, a video thing? What's a stinger? Let's find out. Oh, hey, haha! -ha! This. <laughs> when in doubt, click all the buttons. Um, all right, so I'm going to see if I can just grab this thing. Oh, come on, OBS, don't quit on me now. All right, grab this. Time in milliseconds. Sure. I'm going to say 2000. Uh, I mean, I don't hate that. Um, oh, but I wonder. Crossfade, hmm. I mean, I guess that works. Like that's that's basically what I was trying to do. The only downside is that uh, okay, let's what if I do like a second and a half? How long is that? Does that get all the way through? That's fine. Um Okay, and then if I go over here. Oh, but it switched on top of it? Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I understand what's happening. Okay, I see what's happening. I need to have a, um, I need to have a transition in and out and it's gonna do the switch after I get through, okay, I get what's happening. So let's get back into After Effects. I'm going to um, add a, let's get out of the render queue. And I'm going to, let's make this a little bit shorter since it's gonna be all of the things. And so I think what I'm gonna do, I found a way to do this before. I'm gonna clip this and I'm going to say time, time stretch. And I want the stretch factor to be, wait, why do I have 30 seconds? I don't want 30 seconds. Why do you think you're 30 seconds long? How long is this now? It goes, it finishes at like four seconds. So I want it to be half as long. I'm going to use time, time stretch, 
go to 50% as long, hit OK, and now, yeah, OK. So having done that, now I can just reverse all of this. Um, later, Horacio, it was, uh, thanks for stopping by. I <laughs> appreciate all of the help. Um, that was, it was super useful. I think it unblocked me a bunch of times. So now that I've done this, what I want to do is like, we get back to, let me unselect this. So when we get to here, right, I want like one second. So here we're at like a 1.25 seconds. And then we could, or what, how does that work? Oh, this is frames. So like one second, 25 frames. So when we come in, we can go to like two seconds and maybe we just give it a full second, like 25 frames. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reverse the whole thing. So I'm going to have the, the animation. Hey, what's up? Thanks for stopping by. Um, I, yeah. Okay. So I got this, I'm going to do another keyframe. And so with this one, I want to set the rotation to Five. Oh no, how do I make it just pause? Okay, so that's not what I wanted. Um, this one, I want to add new keyframe. How do I do this? Maybe I'll just turn it a little bit to make the keyframe. Then I'll come back here. And by the time we get to the end of this, I want this thing to be all the way back out. So here, it's like negative one. So I think what I want is like negative 180 and then we'll do like five times. Um, I guess a better be like I did five times negative 90 or something. All right, so we're, we're scaling in and then it starts going the other way. Good, good, good. All right. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. I want this one to be 180. Okay, this is clearly not doing what I want it to do. I'm trying to edit you. Right, are you the one? And then go 180. Good, okay. So now I can do the scale. And with the scale, I'm going to do the same thing. So this one, I actually want that to be zero again. I want it to just stay still. Um, and for you, I'm going to do that should keep it the same. Yep. And then I can come back over here and set the scale to zero. Okay. And so now what I want to see is that that's going to like fade in. Boom, and then out. <laughs> that just looks like it's fallen into a hole. Um, I think that's because I haven't set up the... Uh, how do I zoom in a little bit? And then this should be slower. I think the whole thing just needs to be compressed a little bit. Yeah. Okay, then the rotation, same deal. We're gonna wait, you go away. You come line up with here, maybe. Let's shorten this up to match a little bit. Maybe we can uh, do some of that. I like that. That looks cool. Yeah. All right. 
So then with the rest of this, what I think I'm going to do is take these blue and white polka dots. We want to get to like here. Where are we going? Okay, so we'll start here. Can I just add points? That would have been cool if that would have just worked. Of course not. Maybe here? Is that gonna work? Oh, sh yeah. All right. So I can take this, do about the same thing. Move this, nope, nope, all of that was bad that I just did. But I wanna take this one, just this one, I wanna move it up. Why? Stop helping. That seems good. Get into this rotation. Same deal. I want to create a point. This makes more sense to my brain than the the whole idea of like dragging and dropping and stuff. So I'm just doing this the what's probably the slow way, but like the way that makes the most sense to my brain. Back to a hundred. How's this? Whoa, that's horrible what just happened there. Let's bring all of this in. Okay, so it needs to happen like over here. All right, let's try that. Yeah, then we'll take the pink dots, do the same thing. And these ones just need to get set. Let's see, you're gonna come out about here. Okay. And then where do you move to? Get to here. Oh no, I need you to step there. And then this one comes down. And this one goes up. This is fascinating to watch. Okay, how's that? Okay, so that builds like a thing, and then I need to do the background top. That one is basically doing a set here, and then all right, so that comes in for how long? That comes in at like one second on the dot pretty much. So then we come over, we get our two seconds. And then let's just set a point here. And then we need to go exactly one second later. So 219 go to 319 here's where I'm looking by the way is just this little section here how do I make my mouse go bigger there we go I'm gonna click this and then I'm gonna drag this thing back down straight down to here okay do the same thing on this one. Crap, where was I? 
Okay, so I'm going to do... Let me set my points. It was 219. So I need to set here. And then I'm going to come into this last one. Same deal, come into 219. All right, and then we go out 319. Set it again. Come up here. Set it again. All right, that's pretty close. So now, grab these, move it straight up, just get it off screen, get that wipe again. Go down here to this one, and we want to take this one. And get that wipe. Okay. So this ought to be like a transition wipe. Okay. So if I set the timeout to be like two and a to like twenty one hundred milliseconds, what should happen with this is um, it should like transition between scenes with that little thing, um, which should be I think pretty cool. So let's render it. Export add to render queue. Okay, and oh no, I don't want. What's this? What just happened? I screwed something up. Nope, I don't want that. I want these gone. How do I get rid of them? I just want it to just go away. All right. So I want to come back out here. I want to deselect. How do I? What? I just don't want anything selected. I just want it to be like just the one thing, just the thing that I'm looking at. Can I export the whole thing? Huh? How about that? Do export, add to render queue, full screen. So this one I'm gonna, whoops. I wanna rename this. Since now I know what this is called, I'm gonna call it a stinger. And do that, okay. And we'll keep those same things. I'm pretty sure this kept the same thing. Nope, I want RGB plus alpha. Okay. Let's render. Dope. Okay. Now here. All right, so I'm gonna just take this. I'm gonna change this out. Oh wait, no, that's not even what I want. Okay, so you, not talking to you. I wanna just edit this stinger. Browse. Grab this thing. Come on, stinger. There we go, my poor little computer sounds like it's gonna start hovering off the table. And I'm gonna set this to 2100. All right, let's preview this thing. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay, um, I'm also, I should probably rename this thing so that it, uh, let's rename. Just prefix it with learn with Jason. Okay, so now I can turn this overlay wipe off. So what I should see, dope. <laughs> uh, that's so cool. Okay. Um, I, nah, that's kind of, I do have one challenge though, which is that like, if I'm over here and I come in here, right, do this. And then I'm like, nah, it's fine. I'll learn this stuff eventually. What I really want to do is get like cool extra things happening. I'm going to figure out, I, I think there's a way I got this stream. It's called a stream deck. Um, and yeah, here it is. So it's just like this little thing sits on your desk and you can hit buttons and make it do stuff. Um, 
apparently you can like set up scenes and and trigger screen transitions and and that kind of stuff i haven't quite figured it out i got it yesterday and haven't even installed the software yet so this is going to be this will be exciting but um for the moment that's just a fun thing like let me send a link since we're talking about it um so I think, I, I feel like that's probably as far as I'm going to reasonably get today because I just don't really have a, I don't really have a plan um, outside of that. But this has been kind of fun. We got some animation put together. We did, uh, we've got like a, a cool screen wipe so that we can move between things. Oh man, that's so much fun. I like that so much. Oh no, what just happened? I like didn't like my thing. It short circuited. What? Why are you doing it? Here, you're supposed to do it on the way back. There you go. Yeah, anyways, so this is fun. I think that's probably a good stopping point. So with that, I'm going to do a sweet transition out to my Be Right Back screen, and we will be back with our regular code focus programming on Thursday. We've got, um, I'm pretty excited about this one. We are going to have um, Jason Ball on, and he's going to be work he's been like the creator of WordPress GraphQL, and we just hired him, right? So we we've, we've been trying to make the Gatsby and WordPress experience really good. So he's going to come on and show me how all that stuff works. I've never used WP GraphQL before. I've heard of it. It looks super cool. Um, really looking forward to kind of digging into that and building some cool stuff. So back to our regularly scheduled programming content, um, on the, on Thursday, the 25th, uh, next week after that, we've actually got some bonus stuff coming up on Monday. I have hold please while I pull up my calendar on another screen. Um, I've been, I'm really slacking and haven't put the things into the thing that I'm supposed to put into the thing. So on Monday next week, uh, we're going to have Lori Barth on and she and I are going to work on, um, like building some Gatsby stuff. She's reasonably new to Gatsby. And so, uh, she's going to be just kind of asking some questions. We're going to work together through a project. Um, I've been up in the streaming quite a bit in case you haven't noticed. So I'm doing like three days a week now, which I've really been enjoying. So let's keep that train rolling and, uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button, hit, uh, hit follow. Uh, don't forget that I have this super fun, like custom emoji now so that you can, you can post that. Uh, I'm really excited about it. So yeah, that's, that's all I got for today. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you next time.